Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to discuss about Linux. So let's cut right to the chase. Just like Windows or Mac, Linux is an operating system. Linux has been around since the mid 90s. Linux is actually everywhere. It's in your phones, your thermostats, in your cars, refrigerators, Roku devices and televisions. It also runs most of the internet. All of the world's top 500 supercomputers and the world's stock exchanges. Besides being the platform of choice to run desktops, servers, and embedded systems across the globe, Linux is one of the most reliable, secure, and worry free operating systems available. Let's take a look at some of the major components of Linux Bootloader. Bootloader is the software that manages the boot process of your computer. For most users, this will simply be a splash screen that pops off and eventually goes away to boot into the operating system. Kernel The kernel is the core of the system and manages the CPU, memory, and peripheral devices. The kernel is the lowest level of the operating system. Daemons these are background services like printing, scheduling, sound, etc. that either start up during boot or after you log into the desktop. Init system. This is a subsystem that bootstraps the user space and is charged with controlling daemons. Desktop environment. This is the piece that the users actually interact with. There are many desktop environments to choose from like Xenome, Cinnamon, Mate, Pantheon, Enlightenment, KDE, etc. Each desktop environment includes built-in applications such as file managers, configuration tools, web browsers, and games. The major question here is why to use Linux? To answer that question, I would pose another question. Does the operating system you are currently using really work just fine? Or do you find yourself battling obstacles like viruses, malware, slowdowns, crashes, costly repairs and licensing fees? If you are struggling with the above, Linux might be the perfect platform for you. Linux has evolved into one of the most reliable computer ecosystems on the planet. Combine that reliability with zero cost of entry and you have the perfect solution for a desktop platform. You can install Linux on as many computers as you like without paying a penny for software or server licensing. Isn't that great? Linux has a number of different versions like Linux Mint, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE or for the servers we have Red Hat Enterprise Linux. CentOS, Ubuntu servers, SUSE Enterprise Linux, and so on. This tutorial is mainly focused on CentOS version 8. In the next video, we will discuss about CentOS. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any question, you can comment down below. And for the more Linux videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.